Welcome to the Hawk Central Huddle, your weekly peek inside Iowa athletics. I'm Danny Lawhon here with Chad Lystico, and the big game, at least, of the 2018 football season so far is here. You've been talking about it, hinting about it. It's Wisconsin time, Chad. Just how huge uh, is this game in the course of the season? Yeah, even though it's the Big Ten opener, it probably will decide the Big Ten West. Uh, historical evidence points this way. Since they went to East and West division alignment, the winner of this game has won the West. Uh, that was true in 2015 when Iowa actually won that game in Madison. Uh, and everyone's picking these two teams as the top two in the West. Clearly, the winner of this game has the inside track. And if Iowa loses this game, I mean, we've been through the scenarios, Danny, off mm -hmm. camera. It's really hard to imagine a scenario in which Iowa actually wins the Big Ten West without winning this game. You know, there's been talk in the first few weeks about extracurricular things going on inside out of the program, attitude and so forth. But when you get to a game like this, it seems like people really want to know the, the meat and potatoes, the X's yeah. and O's of what's going to happen on the field. So what is the biggest matchup that might end up deciding this game on Saturday night at Kinney? Yeah, certainly I, to me I look at Wisconsin's offensive line is probably one of the best offensive lines in the country. Um, Iowa has not faced anything close to this caliber yet this season. We've given the Iowa defense a lot of love, but it's that front seven of the Hawkeye defense. Can they mm -hmm. stop Jonathan Taylor in that running game from coming downhill? Because if they can, then all of a sudden you've got Alex Hornibuck throwing passes, and that's a good thing for the Hawkeyes because I don't think he's going to be able to beat them deep. You know, there's a lot of focus on Nate Stanley, of course, last week, and he had his at least, you know, mental resurgence, I think, with a really confidence-boosting performance against Northern Iowa. But, but is that necessarily your biggest key to, to victory? I mean, if I were to ask you the sentence, or, if, or have you fill in, Iowa wins this game if, I mean, how would you finish it? Yeah, you know, I would probably go there. I would say if Nate Stanley is sharp. Uh, now, he, he was pretty good last week, completed over 80% of his passes. But if you look at historically, Iowa does the best job against Wisconsin, just like BYU did last week. Mm -hmm. Don't turn it over. Right? Don't make silly <laughs> mistakes. Don't take sacks either. You know, if you can take a sidestep here or there, get it out, throw it out of bounds, that's okay to punt in this game. I mean, Iowa's done a great job of pinning teams back this year. Make Wisconsin, you know, drive 75, 85 yards against the, the second-ranked defense in the country and take your chances. You know, we're going to be having all sorts of coverage leading up to Saturday night. You're excited. We're excited. Check HawkCentral.com throughout these next few days and into next week as we discuss the fallout from this huge game.